That's when you think you know all the players. Here comes Cordell Tinch of Pitt State, a Division II school last uh, last night, and what does he do? He runs 1296. That's the world lead. And a year ago, he was selling cell phones and got back into college, got back into training, and we'll talk about him in a couple of weeks. There's a look at the full field that includes Allen and Cunningham, but don't forget some of the other pretty talented hurdlers in this field. Daniel Roberts among them in lane three. Yeah, Daniel Roberts, of course, a college rival of Grant Holloway. He was the 2022 U.S. champion in this event. He went to the Olympics as well in Tokyo. So Roberts in three, Cunningham in four, and the defending champion Devin Allen in lane five as they get into their blocks here. Again, the world lead set last night in Fayetteville, 1296 by American Cordell Tinch. The men's 110 meter hurdles from New York. that Roberts has got him by just one one hundredth of a second but wow. if that holds it's wind legal 1301 that's the third Daniel fastest Roberts. time in the world so we talked about it Kenny Harrison told us about the women's hurdles the men's hurdles are going to be hot as well the first six in this race under 1330 led by Daniel Roberts 1301 season's best and Devin Allen 1304 seasons best and the top six men are all American Trey Cunningham something went really wrong here today because he was in the back in in ninth place in 1357 so a lot of work to do for the world silver medals look at the great start that Daniel Roberts got in lane three but you know Devin Allen based on his usual form is gonna come on late in the race was too late this time as Daniel Roberts hung on and he's gonna go into his next performance, which will be at the U.S. Nationals, with lots of confidence. His personal best is 13 flat, and he's just come and run 13.01 here. And we talk about Allen's disappointment at Worlds. Dan Roberts also had disappointment yes. at Worlds in the early rounds, hit a hurdle and fell down. So both of these guys looking for redemption at the national championships. But the hardest part, Lewis Johnson, is just making the team this year. Absolutely. We talk about depth in the hurdles, and here's a great example of it. First to you, Daniel. Take us through the race, and things were awfully tight there coming off that last hurdle. Honestly, I was pretty nervous. This is only my third meet of the season. Still getting back into shape, but I felt good. felt confident with how training was going. I just want to come out here and compete good against a great field. So it went well for me today, for sure. It surely did. Uh, Devin, you have some great memories here running the third fastest time ever in history last year. What does it mean to be back on the track as you're still trying to guess, juggle football? Where, where is all this working out? Yeah, no, it's going well. You know, balancing both is difficult, but I'm having a lot of fun as long as I can stay healthy, get to compete against these guys in a high-quality competition. You know, 1301 and 1304 is nothing to scoff at. That's right. So we're ready to go. All right, this is a shared my question here. You guys, depth here in America is incredible, and of course you'll face the world, which is difficult. How do you guys need to navigate the Nationals to make the team, which is the hardest thing, and then think about working, uh, getting to the world? I mean, the rounds is key, taking, taking those things to execute the right way. And then when it gets to the final, we know we're always going to compete. So it's not, it's not too stressful at that point. The stress is always the buildup in those first couple rounds. But after that, it's totally chill. What else you? Yeah, you got to stay clean through the rounds, like Daniel said, and just be aggressive. You know, that's the thing about being a hurdler. You got to race in order to feel good. You know, like a lot of the college kids, there's a lot of opportunities to race early in the season. And the pros don't get as many. But, you know, good races sharpen us up. So. You know, this is a good one to have two weeks before USA's. Excellent. Devin, Alan, uh, thank you guys, Daniel. <laughs> no worries, right. thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much, Lewis. Grant Holloway has given the American hurdlers a gift. He's got an automatic spot in world, so three additional Americans will move on to Budapest. U.S. now one, two, three, four, and seven in the world in the men's 110-meter hurdles.